Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Get Ready With Me Halloween edition. We are going to be dressing up as Maddie and Cassie from Euphoria. She is going to be Maddie, this is Lizzie, she is my sister. And as you guys can see, I'm going to be dressing up as Cassie today. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. We are not professional MUAs, but we do know a little bit about makeup. So we're going to be letting you guys know all of the products that we're using and kind of kind of show you step by step. First, I'm going to start off with priming my face and oh, actually, I'm going to start with brows. She already did her makeup a little bit. She's ahead of the game. So what I use for my brows is I use Refi brow wax. I don't know if you guys can see it. it's a little brow. Right. Refi brow wax. Super good. The only thing I don't like is if you use it a little too much, it gets um, not clumpy, it gets white. It gives you like flakes on your eyebrows. But it gives you that laminated look without having to spend a bag on your brows. <laughs> Liz actually hasn't even watched you for yet. <laughs> She's a little late. I tried to fill her in um, while I was doing my nails. And I did I did the Cassie nails, FYI. I did the little nails that she had going on. These are a DIY. I'll do a tutorial on them maybe, or maybe on some different nails, but. So what's your opinion so far on the show? So far I noticed it's a lot of drama. <laughs> no um, it's a lot of cheese man. But it's pretty interesting so far. I haven't really watched a lot of episodes in like three that came on and stuff. Just about three. And just from those three episodes, I had to close my eyes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys haven't watched Euphoria, it is very provocative, FYI. Um, it's not for kids. <laughs> Definitely just for adults. Mm -hmm. Mom, if you're watching this, don't watch Euphoria. <laughs> Isn't it funny though how it's supposed to be with like teens? Yeah, it's crazy because it's teens, but they're really provocative. Yeah. Which I guess makes it an adult show, you know? favorite character I would say who would you say my favorite character of course is Maddie Maddie off the bat you already know because we're Latina <laughs> <laughs> we're hella Latina, hella Latina. <laughs> I'm just kidding no I just like Maddie because of her like personality she's just very fierce mm -hmm. she doesn't really care what people think about her well I guess she does you know but every girl does when they're in high school that's why Euphoria is so relatable and why it did so well is because it's super relatable. I feel like every girl has kind of gone, not maybe not every girl, but I feel like a lot of girls have gone through the whole Cassie and Maddie drama. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I guess like all those situations and like things in general, girls have gone through and guys too, you know, you have the jock, you have the pretty girl, you have the pretty girl's best friend, um, you have the oddballs in there too, the the drug dealer, yeah, it's typical um, high school, yeah, it's, high school. it's super relatable I feel like, god I can't even tell how many of those, yeah I think my favorite character would be Maddie too, I like Maddie, Ruth, she's and and she cool, yeah Zendaya she did really good in that show, at first I wasn't a really big fan of Zendaya just because she was, um, I knew her just from Disney Channel, and that's kind of just the vibe that she gave me. She gave me very Disney vibes. So I wasn't really into like her Euphoria right away because of that, but I was like, I'm gonna give it a chance because if everyone was raving about it, and I was like, it must be good if everyone's raving about it. Mm -hmm. So I watched it, and I think I had to watch it like two or three times before I actually got into it. And when I, the third, I think it was like the third time, maybe fourth time that I watched it, I, I was hooked. And I think I watched it in actually like a day or something. <laughs> I watched it super fast. Um, and then once it came out, once the second season came out, I think I watched that over the weekend too. 
Um, but yeah. You wash it in Yeah, I'm just I binge washed it. Anyways, brows are done. I have to get them wet so they don't look super clean, but we're done. Cassie has a very um, light eyebrow look, I guess. She doesn't really do her eyebrows, so they're just kind of like. Yeah, they look like very natural. Yeah, they're super natural. Just kind of nice. That's what I'm going to try to go with. Supernatural look. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using a brow tint pen from NYX Makeup. For my brows, just gonna fill them in a bit. So my makeup's pretty much done, almost. I have brows done. I didn't even put on lashes, so I'm gonna just do that in a little bit. Um, a little more bronze. <laughs> what else do I have? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just lashes, and I'm good to go. So I don't know if we mentioned, but we're gonna be doing um, that's. We're gonna be dressed up as the scene where Cass or where Maddie is wearing that purple outfit and she's walking down the, the hallway and then she runs into Cassie and Cassie's almost wearing the same exact thing. We thought it would be super cute because we're sisters and we kinda wanted to do like a little matching theme. But yeah, that's what we're, we're what we're gonna be dressed up as today. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is just dab a little bit of the concealer on my brush. A tiny bit. I don't go crazy with my eyebrows anymore. I used to. I went through that the Nike eyebrow phase. <laughs> I think everyone did just because it was in at the time. So don't get at me. But I did go through that phase where I super concealed my brows and I like felt like them in. I didn't know much about makeup though either. I was kind of like barely getting into makeup. Yeah. I think when you're at that phase though and you're trying it out, even though it doesn't come out the way you wanted it. You're still getting that practice in because a lot of people still don't know how to do that. And I feel like they have to go through that phase all over again for themselves. Excuse me. Yeah. So, so yeah. It's a little, actually, a little bit darker than I expected. Yeah, I don't like this. I think I'm just going to go grab my own. I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is one of my favorite concealers. Lashes done. So next I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M321 brush to blend out the concealer underneath my brows. So I just put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids and next I'm going to go in with um, a setting powder on my eyelids just so it's not wet, just so it dries it up a little bit and I go in with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder. Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Here Gua. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always to the top. I'm saying my hot, all these lies in the socks, I'm icy, wifey, they just wanna fight me. So my brows are all done. I'm gonna go in on my eyeshadow now. Cassie has a very like neutral look with white eyeliner. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and I think I'm gonna go in with haste with the salted caramel and the milk chocolate one. So this one and that one. So fun fact, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar eyeshadow I heard is actually made with real chocolate or cocoa butter. So if you smell it, it smells like cocoa. A little bit. Huh? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's so cute. That is super cute. I think it's maybe just some shadows, not all of them, but it's still super cool. So I'm pretty much done with my eyeshadow. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is the white eyeliner. Um, and I'm gonna be using NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Eyeliner. So today we did our hair and makeup first just because we're running short on time um, and we kind of wanted to get ready super fast and we don't want this video to be super long but that's kind of why we have her hair done already and she had her makeup done already. <laughs> our pictures are going to be so cute. Make sure you guys check out our Instagrams. She is Lizzie Oku, L-I-Z-Z-Y-O-K-U <laughs> and mine is Jalicia, the same thing as my YouTube. We're going to post super cute pictures. It's gonna be all euphoria vibes. Okay. Super in love with how it came out. Now you can see a little bit of it. 
Yeah, you can see it more. Honestly, because I don't know how to do eyeliner that well, I think I might just do gems. If she doesn't wear eyeliner. <laughs> no, I'm talking oh, about in general. general. Yeah. But yeah, so. I think they come out super cute, so. You know, I see girls with this style all the time, and it just looks so cute. So, yeah. It's really very catchy. Wow. You can see it here. You're laughing. And then I have the eyeliner. Yeah. How did I not see it? I'm looking dead at you. Because you said wow before you even turned around. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Are you yeah. tipsy? Huh? Are you tipsy? Not really. I felt a little bit something when I first read it. Oi. My name is Oi. No wonder who made this mirror. Is this supposed to stand for something? I don't know. I got it from this boutique I used to work at. I used to work at a little boutique in Hillcrest, and my manager at the time gifted it to me for Christmas. I don't know what OI means though, or O U I. If anyone knows what that means, let us know because yeah, I sure comments. do not know what it means. But I like how it's like a double sided mirror, and I've always taken really good care of it, and it's been with me for years. I have kind of like a sentimental attachment to it. Mm -hmm. And anytime I lose it, I freak out. I'm like, oh my god, I've had that mirror for fucking six years, seven six years. years. And yeah. And I'm gonna finally lose it, but I've never lost it. Just crazy. I'm not really digging the white eyeliner, to be honest. I feel like it makes my eyes look droopy. I don't know. I think once I put the lashes on it, it'll probably look better. Yeah. yeah. And bring out I'm that. not a big fan of it. <laughs> Not really my vibe, you know. Yeah. But the hair. Period. Really? <laughs> the inches is coming in. You guys don't understand how long it took me to get my hair this way. Literally almost two years. Because my hair is like her hair color. Um. Um. This is the way. So it's been forever. Yeah, but your hair is like naturally better. <laughs> yeah, my natural hair is this color, which is crazy. Um, my hair is not as dark as yours, but I dyed it so many times. You can see. And I actually miss the black virgin hair. Me too, I miss mine. Yeah. So if you have natural black hair, don't even think about it. Don't. It's not worth it. Unless you're ready to keep up with yeah. that, then do it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I would recommend it if you like change and you like switching it up a bit, but otherwise I miss my natural hair color, like the healthy color, and it takes so long to get the process back to it not being dyed because you gotta cut it, continue to cut it, and color treat it, so. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Just do it. Do the I'm gonna <laughs> I'm probably gonna fire How do you take the voice off? <laughs> I wonder if it, it would be good if you just sing it when it's on you or if you Why do does everyone voiceover. think I'm Latina? Why is it? <laughs> that would be hilarious. If you do Why it. does everyone keep saying that? Oh, wait. What Why doesn't it? everyone? Uh, Why does everyone keep asking if I'm oh, Latina? Yeah. Isn't it obvious? Honestly, I thought Cassie was going to be my favorite character at first. But she put me wrong because she's a fucking two-faced bitch. Wow, that's vicious. <laughs> Do you know what her outfit was? Yeah, no, it was white. So she wore the white with the outfit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the theory is the reason why they put Cassie in white eyeliner is because Maddie usually matches everything from head to toe. Mm -hmm. So as you can see in Maddie's outfit, she has the purple eyeshadow. She has like the like Latina like lip look. She's wearing purple top, purple bottoms. Her I think her purse is even matching, and then her. Um, her shoes might be matching too, I'm not sure. I think they are though. And then they know that Cassie's trying to like 
dress like Maddie and kind of be like Maddie so Nate can pay attention to her. So they wanted to add like their own little twist to Cassie because Cassie can never be Maddie. One thing's yeah, for sure yeah. is Maddie's always gonna be Maddie. She's always gonna, you know, she's always gonna be, she's always gonna fit her character perfectly. Whereas Cassie's trying to be like her and she's trying to like dress like her and everything. But she doesn't, um, she doesn't, she's she's never gonna be Cassie. So they did, I mean, she's never gonna be Maddie. So they did the white eyeliner to kind of throw off the outfit because her outfit's matching, it's all blue. And then she's, um, her eyeliner is not matching because you know because Cassie's so like doesn't have the same yeah she doesn't have the same like uh, style as Maddie mm -hmm. so of course her her looks not gonna be exactly like Maddie you know yeah, so they kind of so they kind of like put the white eyeliner on her to throw I think that's why they did it I just I think I seen like that on on TikTok where they said that's why they did the white eyeliner was because um, Cassie will never be Maddie you know. Which is a great theory, whoever said that on TikTok. Don't know who said that, but don't at me. Good little twist. Okay, so I think I'm done with my eyeliner. If I need to make any touch-ups, I will. Now we're gonna add the gems. And we're gonna do that off camera. I will come back with them fully on. So my, I'm already putting on the gems and I forgot to put on lashes. <laughs> Me. And I just had the hardest time putting this on. I think I'm just gonna leave it on. But you know and what? Just stick them on. Okay. That's Cassie character. She would definitely fuck up on her makeup. <laughs> yeah, Cassie would definitely <laughs> fuck up on her makeup. <laughs> so Liz has a channel with her baby Mila. You guys gotta make sure to subscribe. She doesn't post much, but she will. <laughs> <laughs> she will. she she'll start. She is the cutest, and I'm not just saying that because she's my niece. She really <laughs> is the cutest baby that I have ever seen. She has such a funny character. So you guys tune in with my little Mila Bear. Yep, she's two years old, already started her cooking vlog, so don't miss it at all. You'll love it. Don't it's miss it. Cutest. Support her. Especially if you have a little one. For some reason, I feel like kids entertain themselves watching other kids. Have you seen that? Did you? Yeah, my little sister used to watch. Oh yeah, Ev did, yeah. That was so cute. <laughs> you know, my little sister Ev, she actually had her own YouTube channel. We, none of us knew. Yeah. But I think somehow, I don't know, was it you or Butch that found out? Butch. Someone found out about her YouTube channel and then, um, I don't know if they asked her about it or if they were like, hey Ev, we found out, we found your YouTube channel or something. <laughs> That's why she stopped. She stopped because her phone broke um, and she didn't have one for a long time. But she was always breaking her phones. We literally bought her phones, um, iPads, and she would break all of them. <laughs> so she kind of just stopped recording, but her videos were the cutest. She was, would record herself playing with her toys. Um, and she was actually getting subscribers, which is the cutest thing ever. I think she was maybe like seven years old, maybe, huh? Seven yeah, or eight years old. She's like whenever you're still playing with weights, she's around that age. Um, but it was the cutest thing ever. And she would watch other people play with their toys too and kind of get ideas. I think she even did like DIY things. And I want her to get back on YouTube because she's she's so cute. She's grown now though. I think she's 14. She's gonna be 15 next year. Yeah. Maybe we'll so get her good. on here. She's not too shy. And she has the prettiest, longest, naturalist hair. Mm -hmm. I told her to make videos. I think I don't think she's shy. she's shy. I think she's just shy around us, her older siblings, because we're mm -hmm. way older than her. I'm 26. She's 14. You're, she's 22. She's 14. You know, it's a big difference. And yeah. I feel like, yeah, like the younger you are, that you know, you're more shy around mm -hmm. your siblings. You know, a funny thing is, my me and my family had actually wanted to start. Or me and my siblings. Me and my siblings wanted to start a vlog when we were super young. I think we were in like middle school. You and Butch. <laughs> we, yeah, we were still in middle school. And um, I think that's when YouTube, actually, when, I don't know when YouTube um, first came out, but not a lot of people were doing Not a lot of people were on YouTube at the time. And me and Emmanuel were like, um, we had wanted to start a vlog. And I think he wanted to um, 
interesting, I think, right? He wanted to pursue music. Yeah, he wanted to pursue music. <laughs> I, would make, I wish we still had those videos so we can put them on here, but they were just, they were so funny. Oh my God, just thinking about it makes me cringe, but we would sing. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him I would be his manager. Oh my god, it was so funny. But we had wanted to start a YouTube since like way back then. And I think we tried, but we just didn't know how to like edit videos. We were so young. We didn't know how to edit videos or upload any videos. So we just never did it, you know? And I don't even think we had like a laptop or anything. I think we're doing it off of like an iPod. No, the camera. Or no, we're doing it off an iPod. You might have had an iPod. Yeah, but you also had your school camera. No, and that was way after. Uh, yeah, we were in like middle school when we were trying to do that. Um, but yeah, he had like an iPod and we were recording on there. And um, yeah, I don't think we, we weren't very techie. Technology was like barely coming out. So we kind of just didn't know how to do anything, but we had always wanted to do it. And I think um, once, I think we kind of just fell off our radar. We, and then when we got older, we kind of wanted to start getting back into YouTube. Um, but yeah. But yeah, then when we got older, we wanted to start getting like into YouTube and stuff. But we're just kind of like, I don't know. It takes a long time editing videos and making videos, like setting up and everything mm -hmm. takes a super long time. So, and we all have like nine to five jobs. Except so, me. except <laughs> except this mommy <laughs> right here. She doesn't have a nine to five job. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's kind of hard for us, you know, we we're super busy. I had always worked like two jobs or I had like a eight to five schedule. So it was super hard for me to do it on my downtime. But now I have like a really lenient schedule. I work remotely here and there. And then um, I work from seven to four, which, you know, is a really good schedule. And it, it gives me a lot of time to kind of do things that I'm passionate about. So yeah, a little backstory about that and i really want my siblings to all make their own channels too like liz has hers going i want my brother emmanuel to make one maybe jake make one Ev, my older brother i don't think he'll ever make one because <laughs> he's not really into so social media or anything post. yeah barely ever post um but he'll probably pop in once in a while mm -hmm. he lives all the way in vista so it's kind of hard to like get him in like our videos and we invite him but he's like an, a whole hour away so yeah he, he tries to calm down when he can. But yeah, I think it would be super fun if we all get our channels going, and I hope everyone does, because it would be so much fun. YouTube is so much fun already. It is pretty fun. I like YouTube way more than Instagram. I feel like Instagram's super falling off. Is that just me, or you think No, it it's been like that for such a long time, though. Yeah. Instagram? I feel just... like once... Instagram took away like the activity log thing where you can see what everyone's liking. Yeah. It kind of fell off because I remember that's how I was well, getting like followers, you know? That's how people would, were like seeing my Instagram page. I know, and that's what social media really really is. Like everybody just watching yeah, what everybody and I'm else like, is doing. Right, yeah. And people were like upset that you were able to see what other people liked. And I'm like, dude, who cares? Like you're already on Instagram. You're already yeah. showing yourself. You Sharing, know, just who gives a fuck? Yeah, pretty much. But yeah. So Liz is taking a quick snack break and I am going to start going in on my face. So first I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. Prime Grip Primer. So primer is on. Next we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. My lights are a little too bright so I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But we going in with that. And what I do is I just kind of slap it on there like this. And then we're just gonna blend it out. So face is done. I added the e.l.f. Halo Glow and it's given. So next I'm going to go in on my foundation too. I'm going to go in with Too Faced Born This Way and my color is Seashell I think? I don't know the color is that. Oh yeah, Seashell. Has um, a pale bitch. When I start going in on my foundation, I like to put like the setting mist on my face first so it gives like a dewy look. 
So we're gonna do that. Let it dry for a little bit. And so then once it's all dried up, I start going in with my foundation and I'm gonna just grab my foundation brush and it is a Tarte foundation brush. I don't remember what it's called, but I got it back in the day. It's a kind of old brush. And do two bumps. And Cassie has kind of like a light look, so we're probably gonna try to do the foundation super light, not too heavy. We're gonna go in with the under eyes and we are gonna go in with, I'm debating if I should do Tarte or Dior. Tarte is more so my color and Dior is super dark. So just finished my under eyes, now I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. I'm gonna go in with NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop again. I'm icy, wifey haters don't fight me. <laughs> my haters wanna fight me, guys. It's true. So what I use for my setting powder is the e.l.f. puff brush, I think, or like sponge. I forgot what they're called, but yeah, I use this. I think I'm over on TikTok and I just tried it and I loved it. These are really like airbrushed. And you can also find them on Amazon super cheap. Elf's already super cheap, but Amazon has even cheaper ones that work just as good. Do it right here and then do one of you in the club they did, but right after. So next I'm gonna go in with my KKW contour. And then I use this brush, it is from Sephora. It is the Sephora um, 53 brush, the fan brush. I, need, I don't even know if you can use this for contour, but I do. I'm going super good. I got it back in the day, I've had it forever, and I just took super good care of it because I liked it so much. But yeah. Cassie has a super light look. I'm not gonna go too crazy with um, like contour or anything. I'm just gonna like bronze my face a little bit and maybe add a little bit of blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm using the Hoola. I think it's like just the regular original bronzer. I'm gonna go in with that. We're just gonna bronze No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Next, I'm gonna go in with um, blush, and I'm just gonna use the Dior blush, um, and just use a tiny bit, just so it doesn't look too crazy. So I just finished up my blush, and now I'm gonna go into my lips. I'm gonna use the KKW Honey One Lip Liner, and then I'm gonna use the Classic Kim lipstick and the KKW Classic Kim. And I'm super upset because all of my KKW makeup is running low and she just discontinued her line. Am I giving Cassie? Is it giving Cassie or what? So this is the final look. I'm so happy. I think it's kind of coming together. And I feel like it's giving very Cassie vibes. Anyways, I'm gonna go get ready and me and Liz are gonna be back in our costumes. So we are back in our costumes. It's giving Cassie, it's, it's giving Miss Maddie Perez. Mm -hmm. 
We have our cute little bags too to go with our outfits that they're wearing. Um, I'm obsessed with the looks. What Me do you too. think? I think they came out so cute. It just, it pops. I don't know what it just looks <laughs> It's so, so cute. It's giving tons of euphoria vibes. I love this. This is super cute costume. I'm so happy that we did this look um and thank you to my sister for helping me complete this, this look fun. had so much fun i hope you guys enjoyed the video we're gonna throw in um little clips of us you know being miss maddie perez and, and stepping out as maddie and Cassie. <laughs> but anyways um we're, i'm gonna close out this video thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys all next time and Wait, why are my classes live?